Kaplanovich Petr Solomonich and Konstantin Khanvarichovich and their contribution to the treatment of the consequences of trachoma epidemic. Kaplanovich Alexander Borisovich. In 1922, he graduated from the Odessa Medical Institute and until 1936 worked as ophthalmologist in Kiev. In 1927, Alexander Borisovich was awarded the academic title of professor. Upon mobilization in 1944, Alexander Borisovich went to Chelyabinsk, where, on the basis of the eye department of the Chelyabinsk Regional Hospital, he created of the, de the department of the eye diseases of the Chelyabinsk Medical Institute. At the department, he held the position of head for 24 years. Kaplanovich Pyotr Solomonovich was a student of Alexander Borisovich since 1935. He had he been a candidate of medicine. Since 1969, he had been a doctor of medicine. Petr Solomonovich possessed, possessed a wide range of knowledge, and colleagues called him a walking encyclopedia. Kaplanovich focused his attention on methods of the treatment, their ophthalmia, and the consequences of chemical eye burns. From 1967 to 1985, he held the position of head of the Department of Eye Diseases of Chelyabinsk Medical Institute. By working together, Alexander Borisovich and Petr Solomonovich could make a huge contribution to the treatment of the consequences of eye trachoma. Trachoma is an infection disease that affects the eye. Um, uh, eye and leads to irreversible blindness of the patient. In late 20th and early 21st century, trachoma had become the leading eye disease leading to irreversible blindness. In the statistics of permanent ophthalmologist help in, in Russia in 1902, Professor Sergei Selivanovich Kolovin indicated that trachoma was the cause of blindness in 21.4% of the examined population. Glaucoma was in the second place, 90.2% of causes of blindness, and coronal disease was in the third place, 13.5% uh, of causes. In this regard, the issue of treatment of trachoma and its complications was very acute. Trachoma is a chronic infection keratic conjunctivitis caused by the bacterium chlamydia trachomatis. In particular, serotypes A, B, B alpha and C cause trachoma. The bacterium enters the mucous membrane of the eye and begins to activity multiply in the cells of the epithelium of conjunctive, leading to the development of active inflammation. As a result, um, as a result tissue, in particular the cornea, in the corneal, the inflammation process covers the, the stratifical corneal epithelium, Bowman's membrane, and the upper layer of the stroma, which leads to corneal opacity. The defeat of the cells of the conjunctiva and the formation of scars are accompanied by the death of secondary cells and the development of their ophthalmia. Xeroftalmia leads to micro cracks, uh, leads to micro cracks on the surface of eyeball, thickening and erosion of the cornea, coronal opacity, and in future, uh, complete blindness of the patient. patient. Mm. Progress. Uh, the researchers had. An important task to solve the problem of xeroftalmia. Progressive for its time was the proposal of Alexander Borisovich and Petr Solomonovich uh, for the treatment of xeroftalmia by transplantation the salivary duct uh, into the conjunctival cavity. Uh, the excretory duct of the parotid gland or stemic duct was used as a material for transplantation. The duct was placed subcutaneously and stood to the xeroftalmia. Conjunctiva. In cases uh, the length of the stenum duct was not enough, it was continued by suturing buccal mucosa. Analysis outcomes uh, of, the of this therapy uh, revealed a significant 
improvement in the quality of the life of patients. This made it, made it possible to preserve the patient's vision with total exerophthalmia against the background with advanced form of trachoma. Current state of the problem In the, in the 21st century, trachoma remains one of the leading causes of blindness in Africa, the Middle East and, a part, and parts of Asia. In some regions, the prevalence amount the population of children aged 1 to 7 years reached uh, 33%. Through the establishment of trachoma control services in the Soviet Union and the active work of doctors and scientists, today trachoma does not occur on the territory of the Russian Federation. Despite the fact that techniques of consternation and critical knowledge has become part of the history of ophthalmologists and uh, is not used in practice, it's impossible to overestimate the contribution of scientists to the victory of the epidemic. Thanks for your attention.